Okay, story time. This was many years ago. I was working on the Phineas pilot at Disney, and so I had an office at Disney, but I still had an office at Fox because I was still working on Family Guy. And I went into my office at Disney, and on my chair was a Goliath doll. Not Goliath from Gargoyles. Goliath from this 70s stop-motion show called Davy and Goliath. And I recognized the character, and when you squeezed it, he would go, Hello, Davy. And I thought this was really cool, and I because I remembered this when I was a kid. So I went around and I asked, and nobody in the office seemed to know anything about it. I put it in the outside pocket of my backpack, like he was, he was hanging out, and I took him down to Family Guy because I had a collection of toys there. And when I got up to my office, it was not in that pocket anymore. It must have fallen out. And I remembered it being there when I got out of the car, so I went back down the hall, took the same elevator, looking all over for this Goliath doll. I went all the way to my car. I couldn't find it anywhere. It just disappeared. So it's a mystery. I went home that night, and as I'm opening the front door, I check the mail. There's a package in there, like one of those, those stuffed envelopes, and it's from Connecticut. And I don't know anybody who lives in Connecticut, and there's no name on it. And I'm like, and I put it under my arm to open the door. And when I put it under my under arm, I squeeze it a little bit, and it says, Hello, Davy. From inside this envelope that has been mailed to me from Connecticut, it says, Hello, Davy. It's a Goliath doll. I get in, and I open it up. It's the Goliath doll. This is the same day that I got it and lost it. It's been mailed from Connecticut to me. That's a true story. Hello, Davy. Hello, Davy. Hello, Davy. Hello, Davy. Hello, Davy. Hello, Davy. <laughs> so it turns out my best friend had been in a 99 cent store and they had a big bin of these for 99 cents each. So he bought like 12 of them and had sent them to friends of his that didn't know me in different parts of the globe and with instructions for them to send it to me. And he figured they were about to arrive, so he dropped that on my desk at work. It's the kind of pointless, stupid stuff that we've been doing to each other since college.